I believe that uh, this is a strange time. We are used to be the church of uh, encounter, the embrace, the church uh, in which people is close to each other. But for lots of months now, we have uh, not to see each other, nor have to divide the space of our churches. A stop has been imposed to us. It is clear that we feel a profound lack of each other that uh, we hope soon to be able to see each other again, not online, but in true life. We want to share our lives. It is probably will be a long time that uh, will, will bring us back to a normal life. For us, however, it is also an opportunity to rethink and evaluate our society, our city, our church in a different way. But we remember that sickness, misery and broken life that represent now a huge challenge in these days have nothing to do with God's will to punish humanity because we believe in God good God and we believe in grace and love. Amen. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ there in the First Presbyterian Church in Libertyville. I am the senior pastor of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church here in Adenta, Ghana. I used to be the General Secretary of the World Communion of Reformed Churches. We live in strange times and as we celebrate the World Communion Day, uh, we thank God. I believe God is with us in a special way. God has promised he will never leave us nor forsake us. And in this COVID-19 era, we have seen that to be true. We, as a church, for example, have seen so much love and care for those who are poorer in our midst as we provide care packages for them and as we seek for them to have uh, justice and to have what God wants for them. We've also been able to have online services and reach out to many. And these are new ways of being church that we have discovered in the middle of uncertainties, affirming that the church is not limited to church buildings, where we can live for Christ uh, wherever we are. We are reminded uh, that in the Passover, it was challenging, uncertain times, but God was with his people. May God bless you where you are in Libertyville as God continues to bless us here in Ghana. Hello, I am Dario Barolim. I am pastor of the Waldensian Church and I am also serving as executive secretary of IPRAL, that is the Alliance of Presbyterian and Reformed Church in Latin America. This is a very critical and difficult time. This is a, a time of anxiety and uncertainty. But I don't feel alone. I feel that we are part, I am part of a global community that is walking together through this desert. I am also have the certainty that God is walking with us. We are not a wandering community. God is with us suffering with us, walking with us, and leading us through this desert. This is the hope and the certainty that wakes me up every single day and keeps me walking. Greetings to First Presbyterian Church of Libertyville on this World Communion Sunday. My name is Callum MacLeod. I am the Minister of St Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh, Scotland, and before that was a pastor at Fourth Presbyterian Church of Chicago. I believe in the promise of Emmanuel, 
that God is with us, even in the midst of this pandemic. I believe that God is with us in hearts that love, in hands that care, in minds that search for a vaccine. I believe, to use Desmond Tutu's words, that goodness is stronger than evil, love is stronger than hate, light is stronger than darkness, life is stronger than death. Blessings. Dear sisters and brothers, warm greetings uh, to the First Presbyterian Church of Libertyville. I am Carola Tron. I am an ordained pastor of the Waldensian Church in Rio de la Plata, uh, which is located in Argentina and Uruguay. And uh, actually I am working in Colonia del Sacramento, Uruguay, in a local church. And I am also the moderator of the Waldensian Church. Um, I believe that faith in Jesus Christ keep me walking away from the many things that hurt human dignity and also hurt the whole creation. Uh, I hope that this promised land will come true in a new way of living, uh, in harmony with creation, with uh, the life and with neighbors and especially during these uh, times of great challenges among COVID-19. So my faith uh, motivation is to keep walking and not to abandon the call to that promised land that we can read uh, from the Bible these days. Uh, and also my pray for those little ones that are suffering is to um, be renewed by the Holy Spirit and also to give and to get the strength to keep walking. Hello, my name is Luciano Kovac. I'm the area coordinator for the Middle East and Europe for Presbyterian World Mission and a member of the American Waldensian Society Board. I believe today is the time for us to be a community of solidarity. My faith compels me to work for justice and to end hatred, inequality, and violence. We are living in a time of several pandemics. COVID-19, racism and white supremacy, warmongering, economic injustice. As followers of Jesus of Nazareth, we are called to speak with a prophetic voice on issues of justice, which is at the core of our faith. May World Communion Sunday be a Kairos time to renew our commitment to be a global community of justice seekers. Buenos días, soy Maricela González Rubio, pastora de la Iglesia Presbiteriana Reformada de San Nicolás y moderadora del Presbiterio de La Habana, Cuba. En este momento, respondemos a la palabra confesando nuestra fe. Creo en Dios, creador del ser humano y de todo el universo, y que vela amorosamente por su creación. Él escucha nuestros reclamos y conoce nuestras desconfianzas, pero siempre nos perdona, comprende y ofrece una nueva oportunidad. Creo en Jesús, nuestro hermano mayor, amigo y compañero en todas las horas, que ha compartido nuestra suerte en estos momentos difíciles que vive el hombre. Creo en ti, Espíritu Santo, como presencia divina en nuestra 
nuestras vidas, hallando fortaleza y auxilio en estos tiempos de tanta necesidad en el mundo. Creo en ti, Iglesia profética, y en la comunidad de mujeres y hombres que unida en amor comparten y celebran el chamo. Amén.